Hi, I'm Luke, I'm the Head of Education and Development for Pathology. I'm here at Glenclure's Pathology Lab as part of Healthcare Science Week to show you what goes on in the laboratory and show how we fit into the healthcare science role. This is our blood science reception. This is the point of entry for Blood Science Lab where we get all the patient samples in from the hospital and the community. Um, our reception is staffed with our healthcare support staff who will do the initial critical steps of our processing sample, making sure we've got the right patient details to make sure we've got the right result going to the right patient at the right time. And this is the first step in our analytical process which splits up between haematology where we're looking at different blood cells and biochemistry where we're looking at different hormones and proteins that circulate in the plasma. Uh, this is one of our three haematology analyzers. This looks at the different cells we've got circulating in the blood and gives us an idea of haematological diseases. The biomedical scientists we have in the lab will maintain these analyzers and they'll interpret the results you can see on screen there to make a provisional diagnosis and help the clinicians form their picture of what's going on in the patient to get a full diagnosis. Uh, and my favourite part of the laboratory is where we can physically look at the cells down the microscope, see the changes that are happening in those organelles based on the disease. Once we're able to look at the cells we can see what's missing and then we go to the next part of our um, laboratory process which is transfusion where we can go and put the cells that are missing back into the patient. This is blood bank, this is our final step in the haematology process where we try and put the cells back in to reduce the patient's symptoms. We issue a whole range of products from red cells, plasma, platelets. And this is where clinical staff will come down and collect blood products from the lab and take them back to the patient's bedside to form part of their treatment process. So, as well as haematology, we've got a chemistry department. This is one of our chemistry analyzers which uses spectrophotometry and electrochemiluminescence to measure the amount of proteins and hormones we've got in the system. Uh, this is managed by our biomedical scientists who we'll maintain the analyzers and clin clinically validate our results. After we've done that analysis, the results will either go straight back to the ward or they'll go to our clinical scientists to do a further stage of validation and provide clinical advice to the clinicians. So we've seen around blood science, the other part of pathology we have in BCOHB is cell path, which Jade is now going to show us around. So this is the cutout room, um, this is where we dissect and describe our specimens. So here we have small tissue transfer specimens, which are just a few millimetres in dimension. We give a mac macroscopic description and then we place them into a labelled tissue cassette, we leave them in formalin until they're ready to be processed. Okay, so this is our um, tissue processing and embedding room. So these are tissue processors. So once our specimens are in the tissue cassettes, we put them onto these tissue processors, generally overnight, but we do have different processing cycles that we can put them on. Small biopsies we can process in four hours, but larger ones can take overnight. So the principle of these machines are that they remove the water from the tissue, they dehydrate them using alcohol, um, we then have a xylene substitute which is miscible with wax and we impregnate the tissue with wax so we're able to create a wax block for our further subsequent processes down the line. Okay, so this is the process of embedding. So once the tissue is processed, we um, open the cassette, we identify the tissue within the tissue cassette, we fin fill the mould with molten wax, we appropriately embed the piece of tissue and orientate it according to the clinical details of the specimens. This is a skin here, so it must be orientated correctly in order to get all the necessary information for the pathologist. We solidify it on the cold plate. We place the cassette on top and we fill it full of wax to create a nice solid wax block, which we then use down the line. This is the process of microtomy. So these are the tissue blocks we've embedded. So this is the embedded block from the previous step. We trim to remove the wax and reveal a tissue underneath. We then place the block in the microtome. We cut out four microns, which is four hundredths of a millimetre. As we rotate the handle, it brings the chuck towards the blade and we create a ribbon. We float the ribbon on the water bath and pick up a section on a tissue slide, enable, so it enables us to stain it for diagnosis by the pathologist. This is the slide once it's stained with a H&E hematoxylineosin stain. So this slide will be matched with its request form, block checked, all IQC checks performed, and it will go up to a pathologist ready for diagnosis. 
As a quick tour of our blood science and histology department, there's some of the ranges of disciplines we have in pathology. We have microbiology, cytology, andrology, which all study different parts of the disease process. Um, that's one of the things we do as healthcare scientists, specifically look at disease, and we have a range of different roles from healthcare scientists, biomedical scientists, clinical scientists, and consultants who all contribute to that final diagnosis for the patient.